Hey everyone, I got here Sony 35mm f1.8 and Samyang 45mm f1.8, $750 and $350 lens, a huge price difference, so which lens you should buy? But first, since the 35 and 45mm are very close focal lengths and both lenses share the same aperture f1.8. Would Samyang the 45mm replace the expensive Sony 35mm f1.8? This is Oma, and this is a new episode of Superglass. Alright, so the 35mm focal length is ideal for casual photography and video work. Many street photographers like this focal length. It's not too wide and not too zoom at the same time and we probably stick at medium or large shots because in fact the 35mm focal length doesn't look nice when doing close-ups for portraits. Check this one here. The face is quite distorted. 45mm on the other hand is uncommon focal length. It's much closer to 50mm than 35 and I did a review for Samyang 45mm versus Sony 50mm f1.8 like a few months ago, so make sure to check that video if you like to learn more. Anyhow, Samyang and Rokinen have also a 35mm but f1.4 lens. I tested that lens in the past and was not really satisfied with the quality wide open at f1.4 and even at f1.8. Initially, the point behind the prime lenses is to shoot at a wide aperture, such as f1.8, f2, f2.2, and it could also go further to f2.8. So how much bokeh do we get at the widest aperture? Here are both lenses at f1.8. Samyang 45mm has a slightly more bokeh and out of focus background. But when it comes to image quality, Sony 35mm is outstanding, way sharper than Samyang. Here at f1.8, Samyang 45mm looks pretty soft compared to Sony 35mm. I don't know guys if you see this on YouTube, but I will leave the sample images linked down below, so you can download them and check them on your computer. So the field of view on the other hand is quite different. 45mm focal lens has more compression, but it's not compressed too much like the 85mm, but it's kind of in between. I myself like the 35mm compression more like than the 45. Back to image quality, we also got the same performance at f2 and f2.2. Sony 35mm image quality is still excellent, much better and sharper. Here is at f2 and f2.2. At this point we definitely know that we got what we paid for. The 45mm lens is not that bad. Yeah Oma, but it looks bad when you compare it to the expensive 35mm. You said it, expensive. Samyang or Rakuten 45mm is still affordable, and if you are not making money out of your lenses, eventually it's a bad idea to invest in expensive glass. Anyhow, you can increase the sharpness in posts and get a decent result. On this channel guys, we make photography and filmmaking gear reviews. So make sure to subscribe for more. Alright, let's assume that you will go for the cheaper lens. Keep the video running cause I'm going to show you the difference much closer. I immediately feel the difference when holding both lenses in my hand for the first time. Sony 35mm feels heavier and has better build quality. While Samyang 45mm made of a cheaper plastic and weights 5.7 ounces, 160 grams. Sony 35mm weight on the other hand is 10 ounces, 280 grams. Both lenses have no image stabilization feature, 
and when holding the 35mm Sony lens in my hand, it has a sound of something moving inside. And the sound doesn't show anymore when the lens is attached to the camera. Jumping to lens hood. Samyang lens hood is perfectly round, small, short, and made of thin plastic. Sony lens hood quality on the other hand is much better. Shaped as a tulip flower, remarkably taller and thicker. Alright, Samyang has no physical buttons on the lens. And the 35mm lens is more versatile. It has larger focus ring, a custom button, and manual to autofocus switch button. Very handy feature. Both lenses have a plastic mount. Sony 35mm has dust and moisture resistance construction. That definitely helps in less than ideal weather conditions. Samyang doesn't mention any information for weather sealing. Eventually, seems to be missing that feature. Focus distance. So when it comes to the focus distance, Samyang has 17.7 inches, 45 centimeter minimum focus distance. While Sony features a very short minimum focus distance, 8.7 inches, 22 centimeter. So you can get much closer to this subject and get some macro photography. Interesting. Sony 85mm f1.8 for instance has 80cm minimum focus distance. That's too much. Autofocus speed is very similar on both lenses. Sony 35mm f1.8 focus zone to the center. Samyang 45mm f1.8 focus zone to the center. So when testing sharpness, I stepped back a little bit with Samyang 45mm in order to match the same framing. At f1.8, Sony 35mm is significantly sharper in the center, sides, and corners. However, Sony 35mm seems to be pretty sharp lens. I mean the quality difference between f1.8 and f2.8 is very minimal. We got almost similar sharpness in the center and the areas around the center. And when stepping up to f2, f2.5 and f2.8, Samyang gets slightly better, but not even close to Sony 35mm. Sony 35mm is sharper in the center, and Samyang sharpness is also decent while it gets remarkably softer on the sides and corners. A significant difference. That's alright if your subject is near to the center and the rest is out of focus. The 35mm lens is still sharper at f4 and f5.6. So when it comes to chromatic aberration, I noticed that both lenses suffers from color fringing at f1.8. Sony 35mm is on the right and Samyang 45mm is on the left. Check this. And the problem still also exists at f2.2. So that's manageable when doing photography, since it's possible to correct chromatic aberration in Adobe Lightroom. Sometimes lens flare makes the scene look dramatic and different. This is a relative topic and some artists like it, while others not. Here I'm testing Sony and Samyang lens flare condition at f1.8. By no means, Samyang 45mm f1.8 is not a replacement for Sony 35mm f1.8. The image quality gap is huge, and despite the price, Sony 35mm is better on all sides, from sharpness to image quality and even build quality. So I definitely recommend it instead of Samyang if you can afford it. Fortunately, I got this 35mm to test and eventually I'm keeping it for good. 
That's it guys, let me know if you have any question in the comment section down below, hit the like button if you like this video, and make sure to subscribe for more. This is Oma, thank you for watching, and see you in another one.